Greetings, this is Time Rider at Chapter 4. So right away you probably notice that I'm using a different intro screen. I had a subscriber suggest that my profile uh, in the dark was probably a little too oppressive, so I decided to go with something a little simpler. And while I was sitting here watching my beloved Vikings hopefully finish beating up on the Detroit Lions, I made a new one. I also had a subscriber who suggested that when I did my last restoration slash custom, which I just released this morning, that they would have liked to have seen how I made the lumber load. And I thought about it, and yeah, you know, I should have filmed it. And sometimes I just get so engrossed in things I forget to turn the camera on. I also thought that I could do a better job than what I had done, so I decided that I was going to do it over. Now right off I have to apologize because the old man forgot to turn on the lights for half of these videos, but hopefully you'll be able to see them, and here we go. The lumber was made out of balsa, and I bought it at the hobby store, and I don't think I paid even a dollar for this strip of balsa. And what I did is I just laid it down next to the, uh, the model, and took a straight edge razor, and cut it into lengths. Uh, that would fit on the back of the, the lorry itself. It took a total of six. I also, when I was redoing it, wanted the load to go a little further back on the, uh, the bed of the lorry, so uh, I measured it out and cut myself a new, new length. And I proceeded to use that length to determine how long I needed the rest of them. And I think I even went a little bit longer on this one, just to make sure. Once I had my six lengths cut, uh, I secured them together using a little bit of epoxy. Once I had my pieces glued together, I grabbed some sandpaper and sanded the edges flat. The one end was a little long, so I took a straight edge and cut it first. Now, these pieces of balsa, they look like six great big pieces of balsa. And I wanted them to look smaller. So what I did was, I cut another piece of the balsa just slightly longer than the pieces that I was working with. And balsa is really soft. So I just used the extra piece as kind of a straight edge. And I scored the balsa with a toothpick. Uh, cut it in half essentially by 50 percent. And I did this on three of the sides. I left the bottom side uh, unscored. And I also scored 
one end uh, so that it would look like smaller pieces of wood from every angle that you looked at it. With all the sides scored satisfactorily, I scored the seam between each uh, piece of balsa as well because I wanted to make them look like they were half as wide as they were. I just took a stain marking pen and uh, started working on coloring them a little bit darker. And I had to work on this a little bit because you want to get the stain into all the scores that you put on the uh, on the balsa as well. So I kind of had to turn the marker, I don't know, sort of sideways was how I did it, but uh, basically I wanted it to be uh, everywhere so you couldn't see any light wood. So I guess this is where I thought maybe I could do a little better. And rather than just drawing straps on with a sharpie, which is what I did the first time, I had the idea that I could make straps using a really thin zip tie. So I cut the ends off the zip tie and then used a needle nose pliers to bend it and create creases so that I could basically just attach it to the prop that I was going to put on the back of the, of the lumber truck. So I folded it once and then I actually crimped it really hard uh, so that it would hold its form. And once I had it to the shape that I wanted, I had cut it a little bit long. And I just held it over the, uh, the lumber load and then cut the side pieces uh, with a side cutter to fit the appropriate length so that when I put it on the model, it would line up with the two stakes on either side. And you can see I left the bottom untouched. I was not going to attach it to the model. I just wanted it to sit on the model. So that's how I went about that. So basically what I did at that point was I just put a very small amount of epoxy underneath the zip tie and pushed it into place on top of the model and let it sit for the epoxy to cure. I did these uh, one strap at a time. So here's some footage of the first stack of lumber that I made. Uh, I didn't think it looked too bad, but I just thought that I could do a better job of it. And I wanted it to go a little bit further back on the bed of the truck because it looks kind of uneven and I'm kind of anal about that kind of stuff. So here's the reveal of how it looks now. And I have to say that I'm much, much happier with this. I liked how the zip ties work to create a strap. They're a little thick, but uh, it's a toy after all. Uh, so here you have it, the Matchbox number 10 lumber truck. This is Time Rider at Chapter 4. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share with your friends.